Oh, there's only two releases tomorrow, and thanks to the early access for the PlayStation and Xbox guys, we've seen some footage early and gotten a bit of an early look at what's happening with this game, and it has come with some issues. Um, as expected from a milestone game, some things have gone wrong. Uh, first of all, the track editor budget has been reduced, so for you guys that like building tracks, you now have less to work with. Uh, the starting lines are twin, like the starting modules, such as the uh, Nitro Bot or the Ultimate Garage Car Park, whatever it is, that all costs 20 times more than it did in the first game, as well as you have less budget to work with. So you, you may as well just scrap those module starts, uh, which they look nice and some of them have been improved, but they cost so much more now that it's going to take up 20 track pieces to use one of them. That's 20 pieces of track you could use or a start module that looks fancy. They're like, eh. Um, quick play lobbies now end. So if you go into online matchmaking um, and you play with randoms, then the lobby will end after each race and you've got to search again. It doesn't, you don't stay in the one lobby. If you happen to find a friend that is on the opposite console, such as PlayStation, such as you're playing on PlayStation, you find an Xbox player that you're friends with, you want to play together, you're only going to get that one race together and then you'll be separated, have to search again and probably get different lobbies again. There's no invite system, so Xbox and PlayStation players cannot play online together except by random chance, and it's only for one race. Um, this is a step backwards on the original game, where if you found a PlayStation player while you're playing on Xbox, you could stay in the same lobby and be friends together and race together for hours. Um, we saw this on the one-day crossplay we had in the original game, where you could genuinely just do that uh, like we just the whole day it was just a big lobby of playstation pc and xbox guys racing together having fun it was really nice um and yeah so so far the track editor is worse the online play is worse um and then the private lobbies uh so you now have to party up and you can only have a party of 10 even though online lobbies fit 12 so you can't fill an online lobby with your friends and you can't fill a private lobby because again the they're capped at 10 for some reason. There's no reason for this. The game clearly supports 12 drivers. But for whatever reason they've decided they can't support 12 drivers and they're going to support 10 in private lobbies only despite the fact that online is not the same. Um, the hitboxes on the fire circle and the hitboxes on the barriers are inconsistent as hell. Uh, you'll see players use the new jump mechanic to jump over a barrier and they'll quite clearly miss the barrier but still stop because they've hit it. Uh, it's just, it's awful to see. Um, <laughs> same with people miss the fire in the ring of fire and they still take the fire effect uh it's not it's not very nice that does need to be fixed up you can't have dodgy hitboxes in a online system like that um there's new like limits and restrictions on the track builder just small things um like twisting a track piece you can't use a small track piece and twist it like you could in the original one it only twists a certain amount uh which is definitely going to hinder Things uh, other track builders could probably tell you a lot more stuff. Like TRD did run me through a few limitations he's come across that weren't in the first game. So again, the track builder in this is just genuinely worse than the original. Um, now they have promised crossplay for PC um, finally going to come in, and it's not. Um, they shortly before the game release they announced that it is not coming. We will not be getting crossplay for PC from the launch. And they said, we'll probably get it later. This is, take it with a grain of salt. They may not give it to us at all. It may take them two years. Who knows? Like, don't advertise it if you don't have it. Uh, for whatever reason, the El Camino, when fully upgraded and using something to give it extra boost, has infinite boost. So that's fun. Um, 
out of bounds glitches uh, ha are still there. So you can still build tracks out of bounds. Um, Milestone has attempted to stop this and to stop the original way, but there is a new way to do it, which is fine. However, um, on the gas station, out of bounds areas have random no build areas. There's random places out of bounds that you can't build for no reason whatsoever. Um, and it's most of the map. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand why. Um, the loot box system is gone, which is some people like that. The news, the credits that it gives you for playing are much better. I will give them that. Uh, we know that many, a few bugs have still returned. We haven't seen any evidence that any bugs that were in Hot Wheels Unleashed 1 have been removed per se, uh, but we have definitely encountered some of those bugs that are still there. So that is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much everything that we found in the first day. Uh, there's probably going to be more stuff. I can't access the Milestone server. I am banned because I dared say that the game wasn't perfect. Um, so they won't let me in there. So I can't see any complaints that other people are putting through. This is just stuff that I've been able to personally witness from watching others play the game. Um, so yeah, the game is definitely not in the best state it could be. Um, which just... <sighs> It, in many ways, is worse than the original. The car lineup is nice, but if you stop looking at the car lineup and look at every other aspect of the game, it is an outright worse game. I think the library editor has had some improvements, like you can now do the stickers and stuff. Um, however, and I think there's a thousand layers. I don't think it was a thousand layers for the first game. I could be wrong. I didn't do a lot with the library editor, but I'm hoping it's very nice. Uh, apparently the Dior 2 still sucks, um, you've got to like change some stuff, use some like attachments or whatever it is, the upgrade system to fix it up again. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, someone has bought the game for me, I've been very fortunate in that aspect that someone has bought it so I can play. I am very against the game. But at the same time, it is pretty much the most interaction I get with the World Race Unleashed community is to play the game with them. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing with my friends and trying out the new cars. But I'm still going to be very outspoken that this game is a disappointment already. Uh, it needs to do better. The track budget needs to be improved. Uh, the online lobbies like the private lobbies need to improve limiting us to 10 makes zero sense there is no logical reason for it uh and i'm disappointed they promised crossplay and are not delivering crossplay um yeah that's pretty much it that's the entire video <laughs> um and world race unleashed will start whenever crossplay finally comes out like, we will be starting World Race Unleashed Season 6 in Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, but we have to wait for crossplay. So, that's on Milestone. Um, give us crossplay as you said you would. Alright, toodaloo, guys. Um, we'll see you next time. <laughs>